Okay, so good day everyone. Um, today, um, I will give you some introduction about uh, Eclipse ID. So first is, let me define what is Eclipse. So Eclipse is, it is an integrated development environment, in short ID, used in computer programming and it is most widely used as Java IDE. So it contains a base workspace and an extensible plugin system for customizing the environment. So Eclipse is written mostly in Java and its primary use is for developing Java application. So C Eclipse is an IDE which means uh, we use this to um, create softwares. And then, so para saan nga ba siya? So C Eclipse is um, ginagamit to create Java in creating Java uh, applications ano so ginagamit natin si Eclipse so pag create ng mga Java applications ano so like NetBeans so pakapareho siya ni NetBeans ano <clears throat> then so ano nga ba yung mga nagagawa ni Eclipse Okay, so what Eclipse can do in Android programming? So ngayon, so ano nga ba yung pwede niyang gawin sa Android programming? So Eclipse, so code editor with support for syntax coloring and line numbering. So kaya yan. So kaya niya mag-edit ng uh, Android softwares, Android programs, ano? So code editor siya ng Android programs. So supported niya yung syntax coloring and line numbering. Then, the auto indenting and auto complete or type hinting. So, yan yung ano, yan yung nagsasuggest kapag nagpo-program ka yung mga reserved keywords. Meron rin siyang debugger. So, meron siyang version control system. So, kaya niyang iset kung anong version yung gusto mong gawin na Android application. Then, kaya rin niya mag refactor so yung refactor ito yung ano once na nag highlight ka ng isang variable and then that variable that you highlighted is y ginamit mo pa dun sa mga um, sa mga sinamit mo pa sa baba ng iyong codes ma highlight din yun so yan yung refactoring ano <clears throat> so yan yung refactoring then Ayan, so ito yung um, logo ni Eclipse 3.0. Uh, ayan, so ito yung home screen ni Eclipse. Ito yung pinakang home screen niya. So nakita nyo naman. Oh. And then, uh, ayan, ito yung um, um, workspace launcher ni Eclipse. Oh, ito yung nag-serve as the location of all project files and folders created by users. So, dito nyo, uh, is, uh, ito yung gagamitin nyo to select or dito nyo save yung lahat ng mga files ng inyong ginagawa na project. Ano? And then, ito. So, pag Okay na na browse na, na nag-okay na tayo sa nauna ano after nating i-set up yung ating workspace then pagkapindot ng okay so ito yung may makita kayong uh, ganito doon ano so ito yung title bar ito yung toolbar ito yung package explorer view and ito yung menu bar so so title bar siya yung horizontal bar doon sa top obviously ano then yung toolbar, yung graphical control element on which on-screen buttons, icons, menus, or other input or output elements are placed. So, dito natin yung makita, no? So, yun yung mga, uh, dyan natin makita yung mga elements, graphical control elements. Like, for example, if, if we want to, to, um, to, to use some text box, so we can, choose this toolbar then para makita natin yung ano para makita natin yung mga pwede nating magamit na graphical control elements then 
si package explorer view so ito naman is list nandito yung list ng lahat ng projects natin na currently inagawa natin sa ating workspace and then si menu bar obviously ano yun yung horizontal bar dito and located at the top of the screen below the title bar containing drop down menus yung mga menus na pwede natin gamitin sa ating eclipse ide And then, ito naman yung pinakang editor view natin. Pag sinabing editor view natin, dito natin um, dinidesign, ini-edit yung ating um, application, yung pinakang user interface niya. Ano? So, ayan. So, ito, ito yung palette. Ito yung palette natin. So, dyan natin makikita yung ito, yung mga widgets na pwede natin gamitin. Problem view. Pag nagka-problema ng problema, Ah, pag nagka meron ng um, problems na sa inyong ginagawang program, like for example, if you have some errors, you can see that errors dito sa problem view. Then, javadoc view. Then, lagcat view. Sa lagcat view naman, when we compile our project, dyan natin makita yung, yung ano ba, yung status ng ating project. Gumagana ba siya? Mayroon bang nakikita ang error during runtime and everything. Then, graphical layout. Ayan, obviously, dyan nakita yung layout. User interface, dyan natin yung makita. At dyan natin pwede yung edit. We can choose this, the widgets here. Like, for example, the button. If you want to use this button, just click or drag and drop. Drag and drop that button, that, L, that widget to here. Uh, from here to here. Ganun. Okay, so napaliwanag ko na kanina, ano, kung ano yung mga yan. So, and then, ito yung outline view natin and the properties. So, sa outline view natin, dito natin makita yung structure. So, dito may yung, yung layout ng ating, ano, ng ating user interface. Like, for example, naglagay ako ng text box doon, dito malabas yun. So, yung text box is, na, so, ang sinilay kong layout is relative layout and then inside the re relative layout, meron akong nilagay na text view. Like, for example, sa loob ng layout ko, relative layout ko, naglagay ako ng button and then meron dito malabas na button. Dito makita. And then, properties. So, alam kong you all know about this window, property window. So, because property window, uh, we use this property window to edit obvious um to, to edit the, the the widget na gagamitin natin so yung widget yun yung mga control elements na gagamit yun yung mga um yun yung mga buttons yun yung mga uh yun yung mga gagamitin natin to create yung user interface ng ating um mobile app and then to edit the property of that widget, dito natin yan na i-edit sa property window. And perspective. So, ito yung visual container for a set of views and editors. So, meron tayo dito, um, we can change, yung perspective, ito yung pinakang outline as a whole. So, we can change the perspective, depende kung ano yung gusto natin. And later on, I will show you some examples on how to change this perspective. But, ito yung default perspective niya. Ito yung pinakan default na views and editors niya. Ano? So, uh, so yan. Uh, open perspective. To open perspective, click, click on Windows, menu, and select open perspective. And then, other. So, para mapili natin kung ano yung gusto natin na ano sa kanya. Na view ng ating ano IDE So on how how to switch between perspective yeah, so the commonly used perspective for Java development are the Java perspective and the, the debug perspective user can switch between open perspective by clicking on the perspective name on the toolbar later on I will show you how to do that ano so pero punta lang kayo sa sinabi kanina sa punta kayo sa window, menu, then select open perspective, and then you can change yung perspective ng inyong ID. Ayun. So, 
ito yung mga pwede natin i-import ng mga package ano dun sa ah so dito pala nag uh, the various classes in the job library are organized so here si ano si dito si si eclipse ano so if we want to import a uh, library so we just need to put this code we just need to put the import keyword and then kung ano yung i-import natin ng library so however uh, but but ang kagandahan dito kay ano sa Eclipse IDE eh, kung hindi natin matandaan kung ano yung mga libraries na gagamitin natin so like for example nagcode tayo and that code is related to the library is ano uh, yung kinode natin needs library so meron magsasuggest si uh, Eclipse IDE na you need to import this kind of library para magamit mo yung code na yun so parang ganun ano so supported yan Eclipse IDE so, another very useful feature of Eclipse is its support for code completion. So, code completion displays a context-sensitive list of relevant classes, objects, methods, and property names as you type in the code editor. So, code completion. Ano? So, do sa word pa lang alam nyo na. So, example, um, nagko-code ka and then may magsasuggest doon then if you try to if you try to hit yung suggestion niya ayun magbibigay siya ng auto generated code parang ganun lang yung code completion ano <laughs> then refactoring so sabi dito refactoring is all is a very useful feature that most modern ide support so, Eclipse supports refactoring features that make application development efficient. In Eclipse, when you position the cursor in a particular object or variable, the editor will, hi will, will highlight the occurrence of the selected object in the current source. So, isabi ko sa inyo kanina yung refactoring. Like, for example, meron tayo itong variable na, um, halimbawa, name. And then, yung variable name na yun is ginamit natin 10 times. Then, pag hinighlight natin yung isang variable name, ma-highlight na yung sampung beses. Yung, yung sampung variable na ginamit, yung sampung beses na ginamit natin yung variable na name. Which is, kapag gusto natin i-edit yung variable na name na yun, may edit rin natin yung iba, yung siyampang na iba. Yun yung refactoring. No. And then, ito yung mga shortcut keys ni Eclipse. Ano? So, I think hindi ko na kailan explain ano kasi nandoon na yung ibig sabihin niya doon sa definition. So idiretso ko na lang tong ano um PowerPoint. The control D, the alt up down arrow, no. So ayan yung mga andiyan na naman nakalagay ko ano yung ano niya, yung basic definition ko ano yung mga nagagawa ng shortcut keys na to. So baka kaya nito plus means you need to press that key nang hindi sabay ibig sabihin um nauuna yung nasa una like for example control uh, control meaning wag niyo bibitawan yung control shift wag niyo bibitawan yung shift then oh control shift oh ito useful tong control shift oh so inagamit natin to para ma-organize yung imports like for example meron tayong ginamit na code ginamit natin na code example is edit text and then so kailangan natin i-import yung um yung library para doon para magamit natin yung edit text na to. So once na naglagay tayo ng edit text, automatic na uh, the ones na maglagay tayo ng edit text, syempre mag-error 'yon. Hindi pa kasi wala kang ini-import na library para sa edit text. Pero pag nag-control shift O tayo, automatic na may import yung library para sa edit text. Ganun lang 'yon. So useful yung control shift O. Yan control 1, control shift T, control control F F6, Ctrl F7, Ctrl F11, Ctrl N, obviously, to create new type wizard, Ctrl M, maximize. So, Ctrl I, correct intention, Ctrl Shift F, Ctrl J, Ctrl Shift L. Yan yung mga use, useful um, shortcut keys sa Eclipse ID. So, that's it for this lesson. So, um, sana nabigyan ko kayo ng um, short background and in, uh, about the Eclipse IDE. So, yan yung gagamitin natin sa ating mobile application. Ano? So, if you want to have a copy of this IDE, so you can just 
you can send me private message or I will give you the link kung saan pwede natin i-download yung Eclipse ID. Ano? So, for this lesson, ang activity natin is I want you to create again, a reflection paper about this lesson kung ano yung mga natutunan ninyo. Ano? So, that's it for this lesson. Again, this is Sir K and see you next lesson. So, bye-bye. God bless.